welcome back welcome to this short section on generics we were using generics extensively when we were working with collections in this section you will learn to create classes and methods using generics more importantly you will understand why we need generics let's get started with the why question why do we need generics that's what we would discuss in this specific video as usual let's create a new project right we would want to create a new java project i would call this generics and i would leave everything as it is and you can go ahead and click the finish button when you click the finish button you would see that a project is created i'll go ahead and create a new class and i'll call this generics runner and i'd add a main method plus finish we have a main method that's cool right so let's say i'd want to create a array list like class but something which would do a little bit of validation around it and things like that i would want to implement a custom array list class for myself which would do a little bit more than the typical array list would do so let's get started so i would want to say my custom list and over here i'll create new my custom list let's create the class create class my custom list i'll use the same package we are in package generics oops com dot in 28 minutes dot generics and say finish right so we have a package com in 28 minutes generics and over here it's in generics so let's change this as well com in 28 minutes dot generics control 1 and move generics dot java to the package so now, the structure we have right now is we have com in 28 minutes generics where we have generics runner and my custom list i don't need the generics package anymore so let's go ahead and delete it okay that's cool so we have the structure ready now in the my custom list i would want to have a array list so i would want to have a list array list is equal to new array list the compiler is complaining saying you are not saying which what you will hold in the array list right so i'll say string right so new array list of string so that's what you would want to store in here and now i would want let's say to be able to add elements to this so let's say public void add element and string element and let's say all that we do is list dot add the element which is passed in let's keep the logic very simple and let's also say there is a remove element method public void remove element there is some custom thing that you would want to implement let's not really worry about it for now and now let's say list dot remove and element so we have a very simple class where we can store a list of values add and remove elements which are present in here the design is not really perfect in the sense that we are not really returning whether a remove is successful or not but that's okay for now what we have focused on is on the generic stuff right so i have created a instance of this my custom list in here so list now let's say i won't want to say list dot add element and element 1 element 2 i can also do remove but let's say i would want to create the same class with integers so i would want to say i want to create a list using numbers so i would want to store integers so i want to store list to with let's say integer dot value of 5 over here i would want to store integer dot value of 7 my implementation as it is right now only works for one data type what is that data type the data type is a string right if i want to use integer or if i want to use a custom class i defined if i want to store elements of that type my implementation will not work because we have hard coded our implementation to use only a string this method will only accept a string this method would only accept a string so my implementation is tied to a specific data type how can we create 
classes which are not tied to one data type. I would want this class to work with integers. I would want this class to work with custom classes I create. How do I do that? That's basically the problem that generics aim to solve. If you use generics properly, then we would be able to insert any kind of elements and remove any kind of elements from this specific list. Now that we understood why we need generics, what is the problem that we are trying to solve with generics? In the next step, let's move on to implementing generics for the my custom list. I'll see you in the next step. Until then, bye bye. This video is part of a Java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on Java. You can find the complete course details in the description of the video. Along with it, you can also find the details of a free PDF with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes, creating great programmers.